Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsline News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the latest edition of Rink Take as we look at a very good goalie from Minnesota Duluth that just latched on with the Edmonton Oilers, Ryan Fonte, who's at 6'2", about 200 pounds, or 190, actually, from Thunder Bay, Ontario. Played very good in the NH NAHL, excuse me, with the Minnesota Wilderness, and then continued to play swimmingly with the University of Minnesota Duluth. Uh, last year... Um, his numbers were good. This year, they were amazing, under a two goals against a 9.29 save percentage. But on top of it, I mean, the stats are just one part of it. The, the, what you see is is what you get is the more important. Um, he obviously led one of the best teams in the country. They were in it to the end. They were able to make the regionals and everything. And um, He's a player that deserves high praise for being able to get that team as far as he did. He played 37 games, and he played them at an elite level in the college level, and now it's about seeing what he can do at the AHL level uh, for Bakersfield, who is obviously has been pretty good with Woodcroft, and now they have um, a guy that worked with Woodcroft uh, taken over, so I think he's going to continue to do a good job down there. I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now. But uh, the, he, Woodcroft did a good job, and now Woodcroft is in the NHL continuing to do a better job. They need as much goaltending as they can get. I think Stuart Skinner has a chance to be solid. He actually has been solid in 13. It kind of just hasn't played for some reason as much. I don't know why they've odd man him out. And then Conor uh, Vilov is pretty good. Olivier um, Rodrique, um, uh, he's okay. I mean, he... <clears throat> He hasn't really performed yet, uh, whether it's in the ECHL or the AHL. And so he, he if he's going to bloom, seems to have the sign of a late bloomer, where Kano Vilov seems to be more on track. Like next year, he could maybe come up, get some playing time, and be more like on the track of Stuart Skinner, who's at 23 and starting to emerge. He would be at 24 and starting to emerge, if that's the case next season, because he's been solid for the Condors. I just... Uh, he was great in the KHL last year, and I think he's just adjusting to North American ice. And also, his numbers are deceiving because I think he's one of those guys for some reason. Bakersfield, similar to the uh, Corpusalo effect, plays a little bit tighter since they're adjusting to his game as well to Skinner, who they're used to. So it actually makes sense. It's not for some reason, but uh, where with Conavilo, if they're still been adjusting to him as he's adjusting to North American hockey and has played the lesser games at only sixteen. So I think he's. Going to be fine. He only played 16 games, as I just said, and he's going to continue to develop. But Stuart Skinner, he's the enigma and the scratching your head thing of this year when it comes to their team. Because why have they not played him more? But when it comes to adding Ryan Fonte, I, I think he's a perfect addition as we loop this all back to him. Because he, he's a very good guy in net. He uses his entire size. He might not be the biggest guy weight-wise, but he uses his entire 6'2 frame. But he's very athletic. Uh, he moves great from side to side. He's a guy that can also make those desperation saves when needed. And he's one of those guys that just brings the energy. And I'm not saying he's going to be one of those Bennington, like, high end, which is not bad. I don't mind those guys when they're really going strong and they have their head on right. But um, I'm not saying he's going to be one of those guys, but he's one of those guys that makes just the key big saves. And that's at least what he was able to do with the Wilderness and the NHL and in the NCHC uh, with the University of Minnesota Duluth, who are a hell of a hockey program. So um, it's going to be interesting to see what he's able to do at the next level. But he's definitely going to get into Condors games, I think, because Roderick, again, I don't think he's going to really play much for the Condors for the rest of the season. So they're going to probably get Fonte in a couple games. Kind of vital if will continue to play. And Skinner will continue to play down there. But I imagine he's going to get into a couple games with Thunder Bay, Ontario native. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a quick video on the Oilers getting Ryan Fonte, plus talking about the rest of their goaltending as they look to continue to straighten out that position, <clears throat> of course. I'm in the minor leagues. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe and have a good day. And please continue to subscribe down below. Or up above on the Easy Use widget to keep us growing to 215 or more. Our end of March goal. Really appreciate you guys' love and support this for.